All right, the hand makes salsa. So, we went out to the garden this evening and what do we have? We have tomatoes, beautiful heirloom variety black cream tomatoes that are just, they're, they're just so phenomenal. The taste is so phenomenal. I decided to couple those with some regular tomatoes, cucumbers, jalapenos, garlic, and of course, lime from my refrigerator to make salsa. So this, this is such an easy recipe. This is like rave, rave, rave reviews from everybody. And we're gonna make it a little heavy on the garlic tonight because I want to show you um, how to bust up garlic easily. You know, you always complain that you have to peel cloves or toes of garlic. All you have to do is put that down on your cutting board and go like that and the peeling will come off just simply by pulling it. Okay, so we're gonna put a couple more toes in here. And even if you get a little peeling in there, your garlic press will get rid of it. And we're gonna smoosh that down into the bowl. And then, I know you can't see everything that's going on here. Hopefully you'll be able to see the main parts. Uh, in order to get the lime out of your the juice out of your lime, take it out of the refrigerator and give it a little roly-poly. Bust up those little membranes in there. We're only going to need about that much. You can save the rest for your iced tea. Lime. Squeeze that. A couple tablespoons. You can use lemon over your garlic. Da -da -da -da. This is the part I use for my drink. Save the rest of the lime for the next batch. Okay, so we got garlic, a little bit of lime. We're gonna get some salt in there. Uh, we like it kind of salty. I know it's probably not good for you, but we both have low blood pressure, so we're not gonna worry about it. It's actually um, some sea salt that we got. All right, and it's much saltier than regular salt, especially the very, very expensive kind. So you're gonna wanna adjust your seasonings accordingly. All right, then, we're going to begin by chopping up those tomatoes. I did wash them fresh from the garden. And I'm not kidding you about these tomatoes. I'm so excited to start next year's batch. They are the best tasting tomatoes I've ever had in my life. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And uh, we like chunky salsa. Hate to tell you this could put it in the food processor and that would probably go much quicker and I actually do have a food processor so we got those black crims in there as chunks maybe that's what we'll do we'll dig out the food processor it's brand new and I love it I do not have electricity here so what we'll do is the basket and what you want to do to make everything go a little quicker easier is you'll notice I do not peel them nor do I cut too much off the top of the tomato because we hate to waste the tomato but you want to cut the tomato into chunks um, and put it in there pretty much even sized chunks and before I use the last semi ripe tomato there. I'm going to use these other ones. And you can trim off uh, whatever you want. Don't cut yourself. Nummy, nummy, nummy. Salsa's got lots of good things in for you. The jalapenos, because the summer has been absolutely, unbelievably hot. We have been blessed with lots of peppers. Okay, we're going to maybe process the tomatoes separately. I do not like them to get too mushy. These are like straight off the vine. This one, of course, has seen a little bit of hail damage from Mandan's garden. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, I've never seen anything like it. I'm gonna start another campaign one of my local foods work and it's going to be the 
Stop discriminating against ugly vegetables campaign. Dead serious about that. Stop discriminating against any kind of ugly food. Because as you know, if God had intended us to all look the same, he would have made us all look the same. I feel the same way about vegetables. All right, be prepared for a little noise here. That was easy. Took me longer to get the thing put together. Oh, and the chopped up pretty nice too. Like I said, I don't like them when they're all mushy mushy. So we got some good chunks going on there. Mix those tomatoes up really well. Uh, I think we'll chop up the jalapenos. We're in there. We'll just cut those ends off like that. All right, we'll make a couple chunks. I have no idea how hot these are. If you don't like them hot, don't eat the seeds. Okay, well, we're going to take our chances and put them all in there. But I'll tell you what, usually your jalapenos will take on the flavor of the summer. And it's been very hot this summer. We've got high humidity. If you end up with your salsa too hot, you can always add something to cool it off, which is what I'm going to do right this minute. Here's the secret to really good salsa. Grate in some, t some beautiful fresh garden cucumbers. Just grate those in right over the top of the bowl. Yep, I buy kitchen utensils at the thrift store. You can get the best ones. You get all kinds of old fashioned things. Okay, we're going to keep going. And we got those all three cukes in there. My husband wants to make pickles this year, and I told him we're going to have cucumbers coming out our ears here, but they're not all quite there yet. And you know, you can't leave them all out there. I'm going to bring some of them in. Now, this, of course, will be much better if you let the flavors melt together in the refrigerator, as with most sauces and salsas. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. So, you have a beautiful, good for you, salsa, and you're friends are going to want to know how you did this. And you're going to say, oh, it was nothing. I just threw a couple things in for my garden. Isn't shopping in the garden fun? I just love to go out every night, see what I can get out of my garden. Sometimes it doesn't make it into the house because it's so delightful. I just eat it right out there in the garden. All right, the next ingredient. A few chippies. You buy the kind that actually scoop. Okay, beware, this might be hotter than Hades. Mmm. Yep. If you're a wimp, I wouldn't put two jalapenos in from anybody's garden this year. You let it set. Eventually, the coolness of the cucumbers will soak up the juice from the tomatoes and you'll get a fairly um, thick salsa. And this is absolutely phenomenal on tacos and for dipping. And so we're going to put it away for a while, let it chill, and mmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Have a delightful summer supper. Until next time, these are the cooking hands.